Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to farm crystals in Endwalker. Now this is going to take some preparations because you're going to be needing around 950 GP to make this efficient as possible. Now, I just made my mill video for my pack and maker set. You guys can use that as reference, but if you have the ARKN set, you can use that as well. You just need to make sure that your GP is where it needs to be in order for it to get to 950. So ultimately what you're going to be doing is on one of the accessories, make sure you have a GP plus seven on here to make up for the fact that you don't have an extra GP on the legs, hands, and body. So the pack maker set has one extra while the air can set has seven. So you want to get as close to 950 as possible with food. And don't forget, because you're doing a couple of gathering attempts, your GP will regenerate by, I believe, six. So a combination of 12 will get you there. So as long as you are close to 950 as possible with food, you should be raring to go. Because with 950, you should be able to get an extra gathering attempt and hopefully wise to the world will proc a Eureka moment and giving you another gathering attempt, which means you'll get another chance at getting crystals. Now, each crystal has a valuable item that you're going to be farming while your GP is regenerating. Well, almost. So fire, wind, lightning, and water are the four most used crystals in the game. Water and fire are used to make the purple script items for crafters. And wind and fire are used if you're doing leave quests or lightning and water if you're doing alchemist. Wind and fire is for uh, goldsmith if you're doing the star athletes love quests. Earth basically is just for leathers, but you really are going to be needing a lot of leathers come patch 6.2, so you're not going to be needing earth too much. Ice crystals, you can easily substitute these when you're making the chondrite ingots. So instead of using fire to make them, you switch to ice because you can use fire for something else. So for ice, you are going to be going into Calusia and getting upland wheat because you're needing upland wheat for the food for gatherers. The Gakao Masaka is what we're going to be using, and that requires a bland wheat, and that's where you can get your ice crystals. The fire crystals, you're going to be finding these where the palm syrup is, so you can make your palm sugar for your purple script items. Wind is going to be in Ultima Thule, where you're going to be getting integral logs in the uh, Chondrite, or water will be. I believe Ultima Thule as well when you're getting your integral logs. Wind also in Ultima Thule when you're getting your star quartz. And lightning will be in Elpis when you're getting your materials for if you're using the CPT for the food, you can go to Elpis for your lightning. So there will always be a material that you're going to be gathering while you're waiting for your GP to regenerate. I really had to stretch pretty far for a reason for earth and ice, but I managed to find a reason for those two. All right, so you're going to be using the Yakao Masaka to get yourself as close to 950 as humanly possible. So that gives you 55 GP. All right, so we are going to head over to Devnir and do fire crystals. So I'm probably going to be needing them anyway. So you're going to be switching over to your botanist. I'm going to use my food now. Which will give me 956 GP. Since I have 901. So you're going to go over to the great work. Which is the closest to the node. And I'll show you guys exactly what to do. Also make sure that you have high cordials on hand you get those two I think white scripts or purple I don't remember but they're gonna become in handy all right so you basically are going to be using your GP on the gathering 
a 10 plus ones, you will rarely find gathering a 10 plus two, but if you do manage to find one, the plus two, use it on that. All right, so make sure that quick gathering is off. So when you have full GP, you do 12 bounty, the giving land, and now you want to gather a couple times. So that's two hits, so that's about 12 GP. So you're gonna be getting around 18 GP just do the gathering attempts right there. So you can go a little bit less on your GP because you have enough, about 18 point cushion. So once all that is done, then you want to do Ageless Words or um, whatever it is for minor. If you Eureka Moment procs, you get an extra gathering attempt. Do it again. And if Eureka Moment does proc, it will stay up until you use it, so I'll just drain the node again. But the giving land is going to give you random amounts of increase. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get a bonus increase as well to the characteristic. So I got 34 fire crystals from this. And the next time I got 17, so it's a gamble. So when those are all done, you're now going to pop your cordial. And now what you're going to do is just farm whatever item you're required or you need. So pop on quick gathering and just go to town. Thanks to the perception rework and gather his boon. If it does proc, you'll get an extra material. So you're not really wasting GP because there's chances of you getting Gatherer's Boom proc is pretty high. So then you basically go node to node just like we did before and wait for your GP to regenerate. So instead of just farming the crystals, you're farming key items that you're gonna be using for mostly other pre preparations. So you make sure you're doing two things at once. Now, if you like, if you get another gathering at 10 plus one, you can just do 12 bounty and gather more crystals if you like. So I'm just gonna use this on the palm syrup. So fire crystals relies on the palm syrup because you need a lot to make the sugar, which is used in a lot of purple script farming, which I usually do for immutable solutions, which is most likely going to be reused in the next patch coming up. And sometimes you get lucky at 48%. And you're going to gather his boom plus 60% to give us 100%. So basically this is what I do to get my crystals now. So instead of going back to Heaven's Ward like I previously did, now we're going to be doing this plus gathering our materials so you're killing two birds with one stone and then when you get enough materials then you can what you can do is get your crystals switch over to your crafter and then start crafting the collectibles or whatever you're making and then go back to your gp because your gp is going to regenerate if you're on a gatherer or not so if you guys want to do that as well you can kill three birds with one stone if you like all right, guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. It's where you guys never miss an upload. And make sure to join my Discord server by hitting the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available if anybody wants to support my channel monetarily. Both are completely optional. So until next time, may you ever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And always remember to keep forging ahead. Happy farming.